when we only see you right here. No, but anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Miriam, why don't you get us started with our first question? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> um, can I just check my cameraman is there and filming? Yes, he is. Yeah. Um, so, Elena, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, so I'm from BBC Sport and we are doing a kind of beginner's guide to the PFL. So we're kind of explaining to our audiences who don't know much about it, what it is and why it's exciting that it's in London. So I have just a few kind of quick fire questions. Is that OK? Of course. OK, so if you imagine I am an alien who's just landed on planet Earth and asked you, what is the PFL? What would you say? Listen, I'm a huge fan of a fantastic beast, which I actually rewatched 1,000 more time yesterday in my room in the, this hotel where we're all located. So it's a good question. I think it's something huge, big, and definitely like some Chinese dragon, which will attack MMA world. And uh, I think PFL grew up as, as we all see so fast. So I think about that PFL have a great future. And it's a great opportunity for, for us as the fighters to, to be in London. Actually, for me, it was a childhood dream to visit your city. Brilliant. Could you kind of briefly explain the format of the PFL and how it works to people who maybe know nothing about the sport? So PFL is a quickly grow up tournament which take the fighters from all the world. As you see, I represent Ukraine, so all the fighters can have a chance to fight for the one million and these fights may uh, this fight really make unique because you actually uh, have opportunity to fight during the whole year and it's a great as a fighters so if you really like to fight you have a chance like uh, fight from fight to fight all you need to do is win step by step and in the final you will see all you dream about like actually what i dream about i don't know about other girls and what would it mean to win the PFL? What, how big of a moment would that be? Uh, what does it mean? Uh, I'm sorry, can you re-ask your questions, please, again? What would it mean to win? Guys, can you help me? What would me? it mean to win the PFL? Ah, <laughs> what does it mean for you to win $1 million? <laughs> what you will answer to me this question? <laughs> I don't know. If, of course, if you're a billionaire, for you, maybe it will be just a noise. But when you grow up from the poor family, and especially nowadays, what's going on with my country and with my hometown, which was attacked by rocket yesterday. So, yeah, I think this million can save lives, my family, and can help other people from my country. And I appreciate that a lot of Ukrainians now saving our lives who have opportunity in London and they, most of them will come to my fight, not only Ukrainian, of course, so, but especially, let's be honest, I will be really happy to see them to come to support me. And so, what is it? To Sorry. be part of PFL and to have opportunity to fight for one million, it's... It's just not what I dream only about myself. I have responsibility for other people behind my And how important is it for you to be able to represent the Ukraine and to be able to fight for the Ukraine this weekend? Uh, it's, uh, let's be honest, it's a pressure because uh, like uh, my fighters, my guys right now in the war, and they sent me right today as PFL make a post with my photo. They sent me the photo from the war. They sent me, they were near the broken Russian tank. So 
for them, I'm like a rock from Ukraine woman appearance. So they all believe in me and they all want that I win. So for me, it's like, uh, how to say, in one way, it's help a lot, good energy, good vibe. In another way, I need to represent my country with, with a pride. Um, and thank you so much. If there's anything you want to add, that would be great, but I'll let other people ask questions as well. I will be happy to see anyone in the in the tournament or official wins from London who have a chance of uh, MMA sport or Ukraine. So guys, it will be happy to see you and I will glad to speak with each of you after the fight. So I open, but after the fight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, too. All right. Uh, Jordan. Hi. Um, so last season was a tough one for you, but this season there's been quite a bit of redemption. You're doing really well. What can you say has been the biggest change in your game to find so much success? Guys, I need help. What's the... Hey, you broke out a little bit. Sorry, um, can you hear me? Yeah, just internet for Sorry, Jordan, try again. Yeah, so last season was quite a tough sort of run of things. Everything's changed around this season. Um, what can you say has been the biggest change to help you find more success? Mm, I think a lot of uh, changes happen in my life, which make me another way more focused, more cold, less emotional. It all uh, have an influence on the first style. So, and um, for nowadays, as I, as I told you before, like I have responsibility not only for myself, not fights only for far. Now I have responsibility for my my people. So, yeah, it's a huge motivation to improve myself from fight fight. Thanks. Ethan. Ethan Albin, uh, Tunnel Vision Sports. So this is going to be your rematch with Pacheco. And having faced her already, what are you looking to implement this time around? Well, I think all of fighters who have a revenge have only one goal and only one focus to take this revenge. So from my side, I will do my best. From my side, I will show how grow up I, grow up I am from our last fight. So keep your eyes on this fight. It definitely will be interesting. So just watch. Thank you very much. Sportscast. First of all, uh, uh, which in which parts of of a game you 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 grow, you grow the most? Which uh, which in which uh, section? Which parts of of MMA game you you grow grow up the most? Where have you grown the most in your fighting? Uh, I think all together because it's mixed martial arts actually, where you can use uh, skills from a lot of. Uh, a lot of sports a lot of combat sports so i think uh i grew up in total of them so as i told you before keep your eyes on the fight and if you have opportunity come in the fight and i will be really happy to speak with you guys whatever happened in the fight right after the fight thank you and which are strengths? Uh, which are strength is strengths in this fight? In, in this fight against Pacheco, who is a deadly puncher, who 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 has a high finishing rate. Nice help. <laughs> uh, which are which are strengths in in in, uh, in this fight? Uh, which is strength versus worst? What means strength? Where the Strength, worst. like where, where are you better than worse? I think my last fight with her show that she can be beaten, and the mistake which I made the fight run on her in the last ten seconds, 
it was emotional and stupid. So for nowadays, I think even the fight before I show every girl, you just need to have a balls, which actually I have mentally. So like for me, it will be a much better fight than it was before. I'm sure about it. Thank you and good luck. <clears throat> All right, Elena, I have a fan question for you. If you could relate yourself to one character from Harry Potter, who would it be? It's a good question because uh, I have such a smart coach, which I call behind his back Dumbledore. So for me, for nowadays, I'm looking like woman's version of Harry Potter, the girl who survived. So it's definitely will be a, like a person with a fighter spirit who like do whatever, whatever can do like to protect people who you love, people with who you're friends. So I just want to make the fate which uh, my friends, my coaches, my team having me to approve from my side. So... I think it will be hard water, but sometimes when I became mean, I definitely would like to use Avada Kedavra and kill everyone like uh, <laughs> Lord Voldemort. So, yeah, I think we all have in our personality both sides. One of them is white, another is black. So it will be definitely hard water, but when I'm in a mad mood, but don't touch me because I definitely use a lot of Kedavra. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time today, Elena. Thank, Thank you. you.